Comparative Effectiveness Research CER, when conducted correctly, has the potential to make it much easier for patients with heart disease and their doctors and other care providers to choose the best treatment and avoid unnecessary treatment. To this end, the ACC has developed a set of principles intended to preserve the essential elements of good health care. In short, the principles stress the ACC's strong support for CER as a way of enhancing decision making. At the same time, the principles also recognize that the research on comparative effectiveness is only the first step in improving the quality, the equity, and the efficiency of medical care. And we stress that improving quality must be the primary aim of comparative effectiveness research. Our hope with comparative effectiveness certainly is to provide more data, more evidence-based information uh, to help doctors in their treatment decisions. I think the important thing is, is to identify why you're doing it. Um, and patients, professionals, and, and healthcare commissioners and purchasers need to understand that. This research is not just more cool research. It has to be responsive to the needs of clinicians and patients primarily, and to the needs of those who are paying for care, leading healthcare organizations, and so forth. We've had exponential growth of imaging over the past several decades, and while it's a very clinically useful tool, it also has a lot of associated expenses. Sometimes things are said that maybe these techniques are being overused, but most importantly, we want to use them in the appropriate fashion, so to help to guide clinical care. The biggest challenge was that we moved beyond looking at uh, comparative effectiveness into cost effectiveness because not only do you want to know whether a particular drug is better than the current treatment, but is the added price uh, worth it? Um, and so that's obviously challenging for professionals, patients. Um, but it's very important because in the end, you've only got a limited amount of money to put into a healthcare system um, and you need to ensure that it's well spent. I think the big challenge for the future and for now is going to be how we can do these in, a, in an efficient manner. The research methodology we have, randomized clinical trials, practical clinical trials, take a long time to do. They're fairly expensive. They're necessary, but I think we need new ways of approaching it. The ACC has created a series of guidelines in the past and more recently has come up with appropriate use criteria, which I think really are guidance documents to say, is this test reasonable to perform for a patient? Is it the right test at the right time for the right patient in the right clinical scenario? So we will be supporting the development and enhancement of registries, many of which are led by specialty societies. This gives clinicians the most important tool they could have. They get to know how I'm doing. Not that I tried hard, they all try hard, and they're all incredibly smart and well-trained, but to actually know what are the end results for patients. I think special society is absolutely crucial. Um, they provide the input from the professional groups, they understand what their patients want, they also understand what uh, future research is going to deliver. Um, so we ensure that professional societies are involved in all our decision makers, um, and indeed when we, uh, when we produce clinical guidelines, uh, we use professional societies to, to work with us to produce them. Clearly we see a move from the more traditional sort of uh, paternalistic kind of uh, relationship with patients to one where we're really working together and the patients need to be informed. And, and comparative effectiveness, we hope, will provide them better information as well as the doctors about what's the best treatment for that particular patient. As we've heard, CER is an essential building block to understanding the populations that may benefit from the many treatment options associated with cardiovascular disease. Expanding the base of evidence used to determine comparative effectiveness will also help clarify the gray areas of medical research. Randomized trials and registries like the ACC's National Cardiovascular Data Registry, or NCDR, are fundamental to understanding the role of imaging and other diagnostic tests in not only diagnosis, but their impact on downstream treatment and outcomes. In our efforts to ensure the delivery of high quality, equitable, and effective health care to patients, comparative effectiveness research could yield high returns as we move into the future.